Hey everyone, uh, my name is Matt. I'm the communications director here at Salvos TG. Also somebody that uses Outlook all day, every day, as I'm sure a lot of you do as well. So what I wanted to do today was take a minute and show you some of the things that I use in Outlook that help me be a little bit more productive. Uh, keep in mind that some of this stuff may be ready for you now. Some of it might be in the new Outlook experience. Uh, we can talk about that here in a second as well. Um, so don't be afraid if you jump into your Outlook and you don't see some of these settings right away. Now, if you do want to make sure that you are in the new Outlook experience, for the majority of you up in the right-hand corner here, you will see a little new Outlook toggle. Uh, if that's off and you wanna try these new features out, you can toggle that on, go through the quick setup, uh, and then you'll be greeted with a screen that looks like this once uh, that application has reloaded. All right, now one of the first things that I wanna show you is pinning emails. Um, I use this a lot when I wanna make sure that a message stays top of my inbox and front and center until I address it. Uh, all you have to do is find the email that you wanna pin, hover over it with your mouse, and you're gonna be given this thumbtack icon. Clicking that will send that message all the way to the very top, and it will be there as a reminder until you get around doing something with it. So instead of having an email come in, you say, I really need to get to that, but I've got to take this phone call and I've got to run to this meeting. And by the time you get back to your inbox, it's buried and off the screen by all the other junk that's come in. This way, that email stays at the very top of the inbox, no matter what you do, until you have a chance to get to it, uh, mark it as read, move it to the folder that you need to. Uh, it lessens the chance that you're going to forget about it. So this is a feature that I've been using quite a bit to help me stay on top of important things uh, when I know I've got a lot of other stuff going on in that moment. One of the other things that I wanted to share with you that I've been using a lot lately is quick switching between my inbox and my calendar. Now I know it's not that big of a deal to move the mouse and to click the button, but there are times when I've got the mouse on the third monitor and it's way out of the way and it would be just so much easier if I could hit a single button. Now it's not a single button, it's a combination, but hitting control and two will move you to your calendar view, hitting control and one will bring you back to your inbox. It's a small time save, but it's something that I've been finding myself using a lot more uh, as of late. There's another thing that some of you may already know, but for those that don't, this will save you some space in your viewable inbox, and that's the conversation view. Uh, if you have a chain going back and forth with uh, one or more people, typically Outlook will list those emails individually. What you can do though is you can go to View, Messages, Conversation, and then Group into Conversation, and you see that these two emails got merged into one. You can use this drop down arrow to then show the entire chain of the first email out, the first reply, the reply to the reply, and so on. But when you want to save some space, you can click the arrow again, and it will collapse those into one message. Uh, again, a super simple tip, but one that will save you a lot of real estate in your inbox window. Now this next one does come along with the new Outlook experience, and it's a faster, more granular search. Uh, I've been having a lot of success with this recently. As someone that keeps all of their emails and needs to go back and reference emails uh, regularly, having a faster and more granular search has made my life a lot easier. So in the search bar, if you come over here to these three lines, it'll pull up the filters menu. And this will help you quickly search your froms, your twos, your cc's, even your subject lines. Uh, and if you don't know any of that and you just remember a key word, uh, it can pull from that too. So let's say that you forgot the, the individual that sent the specific message you're looking for and you don't remember exactly what the subject was, but you do know that it had something to do with the Mark 8 project team. You can put in your keywords and hit search and that search will pull everything that it finds uh, from the keywords that you've provided. So this super granular search has been incredibly helpful as of late, uh, finding things when I can't exactly remember who sent it, when they sent it, or what the subject line was. Something else that I've been using a lot recently are categories. They've helped me stay a little bit more organized and quickly reference things than I need in my inbox. So to categorize an email, simply highlight it and come over here to this tag icon and then choose a category. For this, we're gonna pick blue. I'll do the same thing with another email here, drop down menu, and then pick blue. 
Now, whenever I need to reference something that's in the blue category, and by the way, you can rename the blue category to whatever you want, a specific project that you're working on maybe, you can quickly reference it. In order to do that, you actually can add the blue category as a favorite to your quick access bar here on the left side. So now that whenever you need to, you can click the blue category and it will display all of those things that have been marked as blue. Something else that comes along with the new Outlook experience is a deeper integration with Microsoft's to-do, which is Microsoft's built-in to-do list across its suite of Office products. Now, it took me a minute to buy into this, but now that I'm using it, I've really been enjoying it. It's helped me keep track of my daily things that I need to accomplish. Um, so to view your Microsoft to-do list, you can click on the icon right here in the top right, and it will display either your calendar or one of your to-do lists. Now, you can select between your various to-do lists using this drop-down. You see tasks, my day, flagged emails, and emails to review. Uh, so you can see here already I have a couple of things on my to-do list, but let's say that I need to make sure that I add this email to my current to-do list. I can right-click it. I can scroll down to Advanced Options, and I can create a task which will automatically move it over to my to-do list. Additionally, if you look at this email on the screen, it says, hey, we need to reschedule that upcoming meeting. Please choose a time and create a meeting invite. Instead of moving it to my to-do list, I can click, drag, and add it as an event to my calendar. By doing so, it automatically opens up a meeting invite that I can fill out, pick a time, hit send, and that meeting will be created. So it's just another way to quickly use the tools that Microsoft is giving you to save yourself a little bit of time while you're in your inbox. So those are just a few of the things that you can do with the new Outlook. I hope these few tips can help you be a little bit more productive and save you some time while you're in your inbox. For more tips like this, uh, check out our social media channels or visit our blog at salvastg.com.